part two of the Quant Tower C Trader integration tutorial video. Um, just thought I'd just uh, talk about the spreadsheet and why we knew we were going to be risk off. It's a bit of a shameless plug, but just a quick one is that we knew we were going to be risk on because of the risk calculation. So, and also we not really want to fight the flows of the S and P. It's very much of a beast. I mean, we don't really want to fight the beast, really. Uh, VIX was also crushed, and the bubble was indicated risk uh, on as well because it was down there. We know this is a risky, risky currency, so it coming down here tells us that we could be risk on. The yen was over here, and that's why we got the Aussie USD signal because of the deviation of the bubbles. They shorted the Aussie and they went long the yen. And when I say day, I mean the retail guys. Uh, so that's a little shameless plug and how we knew we we're going to be risk on and the quant tower is proving that you know it's working out there's a slight discrepancy with the FTSE um, not sure why it's not correlating that well but you know it's one of those things it's obviously got its own uh, its own little agenda it could be polit uh, politically driven because we've got lots of news about the prime minister could be that, um, it could be a myriad of other things. Uh, but talking about correlation, it brings us nicely to uh, the stat matrix. And so I basically I loaded all the FX pairs, which is something you might not want to do, is up to you, but I loaded them anyway. And now the use case scenario for this, it's um, it could be quite useful for you in that the fact that we can see correlations and um, Using the premise that we know that some pairs are man manipulated uh, more strongly than the others, then we can get an idea, uh, a truer picture of where price is going to head. So let's see uh, Aussie USD has a 99% probability of the Australian dollar, Singapore dollar. So if the single Aussie Singapore dollar goes up, it's going to mean with 99% probability that Aussie USD is also going to go up. And we know that this is heavily manipulated because so many retail traders trade this pair. So it can give you a lot of false readings and false positives. You're not sure whether or not it's a liquidity probe. Um, you know, there's so many, so much like fear, uncertainty and doubt that lots of FUD on this particular pair. But you can look at this and this isn't really affected by all that psychology. This is technically driven. Um, and so we can look at this and think, well, okay, so if this comes up, we know 99% probability that Aussie USD is going to come up anyway. So we can cut out a lot of noise if we look at the pair that it correlates incredibly well with. Um, also, an interesting one was the Euro USD. And um, there was something with 98 probability. So the Euro Hong Kong dollar. We know how manipulated this is. This is the number one currency pair in the world in volumes. However, if we knew that we're going to go up by looking at the Hong Kong, Euro Hong Kong dollar, then cut out a lot of crap that we can see in the news. A lot of those false moves, are they false? Is that a fake pump? Is it genuine? We can just look at the Euro Hong Kong dollar. And if that's going up, then this is going to come up as well with 99% probability. Uh, 98% probability, so it's slightly um, winding away from 100, but still very, very strong. You'll note this is updated in real time, and just uh, it's just an amazing piece of software. So this is the step matrix, so hopefully you can understand why you maybe want to look at this, um, because you know how heavily manipulated the majors are, and you can look at something that might give you a clearer picture about price direction. So let's close that. Um, lots of cool things. Don't forget you got buttons up here. Um, so you got like the depth of market, um, which is fairly cool. Uh, you're again, so you can see big orders, uh, institutional volumes entering. Uh, so it should populate. It did, well, it doesn't matter if it's not working currently. Uh, it was working. Oh, it was. I think you just have to be a bit patient. So we can have that up there, perhaps. We can have that down there. Oh, I see it does get the data. There we go. We can make some room now, can't we? Uh, so maybe this is useful for you guys. You know, you can see um, big volumes coming in. See, this should be coming up because the factor is so risk on and the yen is going to dump. We know, looking at the bubble, 
um, that we know that the yen's going to sell off because the retail guys are long, right? So we know this should come up. So there's a little example, fairly nice. Um, apparently it's a thing called an imbalance there, so I need to read about that. So that's that. Um, OE, I'll clip that, I'm not even sure what that is. Order entry, right, okay. Uh, click these, DOM surface. Um, yeah, right, so what this is, it's basically um, that, but in a presented in a graphical way. So obviously you get the two to agree. And you can look at the levels over time. So this is your traditional um, column chart. This is uh, a graphical layout of uh, volumes. So it's very, very interesting. You can use this probably for quite a few use cases. I personally wouldn't use this, but if you wanted to, you could. Uh, maybe it could be really powerful. And just, um, just a quick one, really. I don't want to go on too long. Uh, I want to be sort of been concentrating on my trades as well. I was long the Euro USD because of that support that we had on Friday. It's going very well, um, up 60 pips, but I doubled my size, so I'm quite happy. Um, so I don't think I need to talk about anything else. You can just um, click these things and just experiment. See, you can add news feeds here if you've got a favorite RSS feed. Um, so, you know, BBC News just has them, um, you know, if you want to get BBC News in your terminal, you know how to do that. Hopefully it's not it's not hard. You just grab that and then you paste it into the Quant Tower. Uh, uh, somehow. <laughs> but you know, you get the idea. You just play around with some of these settings. So no news feeds available, but that's fine. Uh, there must be a way to do that. I'll just do some research on how to do that. But you know, you just add things and you click things and you experiment and stuff. So you think you'd right click and, uh, and you can add our settings. Anyway, so I'm just waffling now. So um, yeah, I want to get that working. So I'm going to look at this now. I'm going to try and get this working. Going back to my trades and just uh, maybe take some profits. It's going up a lot, which is would be to be expected. Be a risk on so. It's fine, and it looks like the pound's dumped as well, which is interesting. Um, so that's that. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully it helped. Any feedback would be good. Any likes and subscribes are always welcome. If you uh, click the notification, you get not notified whenever I make a video, and I do daily videos as well. And this is just something that I wanted to bring you to your attention with the Quant Tower because it is really amazing, and I'll try and get that news feeds working now I think because it's going to bug me not knowing how it works. <laughs> Alright have a good day and I'll speak to you soon.